Okay, let's try it this way. Let's try it this okay. way. Trample on snakes. And there it is. And so it's a half a dozen different things that are happening all simultaneously right now. And I have no idea how it's going to play out. One thing I do know is there will be blood. What are we talking about here? You know, th there's too many people in the world, and the transhuman movement has even got the end of humanity at 2050, where it's strictly at that point in Avatar 4. Now, there are science fiction stories. Those people that are write insane. About. What's that? Those people are insane. I mean, I, I don't see technology downloading consciousness is to me is about is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard okay, in my so, life. So we're going to go down to the surface of Saturn. You can't do it in a human form. So what you do is you'll create a machine that will put, allow your consciousness to have the eyes and ears of an eagle like a shaman does. Yeah, where you go down, that's your avatar. And you go down, you're up in space, you know, directing the show and experiencing with sensory motor inputs, that avatar. Is, I mean, an avatar too, now. I can't believe we just got our car. Guys, yeah, those people at Saturn sure were helpful, huh? When was the mm -hmm. last time you had six people wait on you like that? I know, and look at this owner's manual. It's like 3,000 pages. Oh, we better go pick up Amy from dance class. Oh, because she's going to love the color. Yeah, see, I don't know when I would... Oh, look, honey, it's Carl from the dealership. Hi, Carl. Did, did we forget something, or...? Barry, Connie, greetings. <laughs> No, you didn't forget anything. I just wanted to make sure the ride home was okay. <laughs> that is so nice. Wow, you people really do go out of your way. It's just like the ad. <laughs> <laughs> but so it was, it was fine. Th thanks for stopping by, Carl. Barry, Connie, have you had a chance to look at the Book of Saturn? Oh, you mean the ownership manual? What? But it's pretty thick. It's gonna take us a little while. Yeah. Actually, we're just on our way out right now. Yeah. So of course out. you are. To the Saturn picnic. Yeah. No, actually, we weren't gonna go to that. Yeah, we really don't participate in stuff like that. Yeah. Barry, hi. <laughs> Greetings. Hi, uh, Amanda. Right? That's right, Barry. Her name is Amanda. Amanda. Light of my life. Barry. Hi. Greetings. Hi. Uh, Amanda, right? That's right, Barry. How's it going, Carl? Well, Barry and Connie were just informing me that they don't participate in things. Oh. Well, Barry and Connie should have thought of that before they bought a Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, uh, anyway, we're, uh, we're not going to go to the picnic. But uh, so. maybe the next one, if you guys want to... Um, Send us a flyer or... Mary, Connie, you seem to be experiencing a misunderstanding. Saturn picnics are mandatory. Barry, Connie, Amanda, Carl, greetings. <laughs> greetings, Lars. Barry and Connie were just telling us that they don't want to go to the picnic. No, no, this is not that we don't want to. It's, we, we can't yeah, go. Yeah, we, we, to... we actually have to go pick up our daughter, yeah. so... Amy? We're... How did you know her name? Oh, Connie, Amy's not just your daughter now. She's part of the Saturn family. Okay, you know what? No, she's not. All right, honey, let's go get her. All right. Barry, there's no need. She's already at the picnic. As a matter of fact, I was her partner in the egg toss. <laughs> this is insane. You people are crazy. I mean, it's just a car. <laughs> oh, I'm going to ask you never to say that again. Oh, oh. Sir, don't you dare hit my wife. Oh. oh silence, non-participator. All right. That's it. You people, get out of my house right now. Uh, honey, I can't feel my legs. Now, here's what's going to happen next, Barry. You will attend a Saturn picnic, and you will enjoy yourself. And then you will take a six-day tour of the Saturn factory and reprogramming center. Honey, I'm scared. <gasps> oh. You needn't be, Connie. You'll get your daughter back when she turns 18. And I'm sure you'll be happy with the changes. But I, I don't want to change. A different kind of company. A, a different, different kind of car. car. A, a different, different kind of company. Oh. A different kind of car. Honda, we don't know you. We don't want to know you. At Honda, you just pay for the car and drive away.
<laughs> but seriously, you know, lots of the pyramids were built as gifts to the gods. Oh, some of them they worked on for 20 years. Oh, yes, uh, three years for the construction and 17 years for the gift wrap. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> Trample on snakes. some restituting writing on the wall. <laughs> Any more complaints? And I'll pull the plug on all of you. Right, wrong? Right, wrong. That's no clip and plop. <laughs> Hark, good citizens of Camelot. Tis I, Newt the Friendly. Distant descendant of Merlin. I come from the future to warn you that Lancelot and Guinevere are... Hold it. This isn't Camelot. I told R2-D2 the stupid time machine wouldn't work. But did he listen to me? No. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> Good riddance. I remember. Stop complaining or I'll pull the plug and you'll lose your power to provide your luxury. Right, wrong? If you must be bored, make sure that you're not bored out loud. Citizens of Rome, beware the Ides of March. Yon Cassius has a young and hungry look, and also lean. <laughs> Century. Please. <laughs> well, I'll try. <laughs> this is what Donnie's gonna look like when he's 40. <laughs> Zena, Zena, Zena. Why do I find everything to be so boring, boring, boring? Simple, Zender. You're a boring person. But I've come up with a new game. It's called Telekinetic Chess. <laughs> All right. Yeah.
be known, the song of a bird, the touch of a hand, and the gentle love of a friend could far outreach all the technology of tomorrow's world. What? You're free. Power shortage be with you. Glory be, we saved the day. Who needs frog now anyway? Every day's gonna be a beaut. Thanks to Xenon, Sender, and Newt. Now we'll live in harmony. Sweet and simple like life should be. Trees and sky and birds and song. Love for each other all day long. No more boredom for you and me. No more electricity. Give credit where credit is due. After all, I'm 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 the one who pulled the plug. Up and on and run, join the throng. No, absolutely not. Up and on and run, sing the song. Well, all right, but I'll hate myself in the morning. <laughs> who pulled the plug and turned off the power? I did it, baby. Who did it, baby? Who got the cord and beat George the Baltic? I did, baby. Who did it, baby? We've just lost the picture, but uh, what we've seen speaks for itself.